Ah, in today's video, we are going to tackle the lovely, short par fours. How do you do it? Pros and cons. Let's rock. As always, thank you for tuning in. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss anything. All the products, gear, things like that, deals, discounts that I have are listed in the uh, description below. There are links for those. Be sure to check those out. Thank you very much. Today we're at Rustic Canyon Golf Course, the 12th hole, 336 yard par quattro. What do we do here? What to think about? Do we go? Do we not go? We go. <laughs> so here's just a couple things to think about as you approach things like this. Can you get there? Question number one, if you hit your driver, can you get there? 336, I could get there. It's a little downhill, got some run on it. I can actually reach the green with a great drive. Two, how good is your short game? Because if you have a horrible short game, go for it is not your call. You gotta do something else. And then the third, the third thing you say is if I lay up, where do I want to be? I'll show you what, uh, what we can do, what most people do that gets them in trouble, and what you should do. Okay, so first choice will be go for it, as always. And uh, tricky shot, got, can't miss left. You can bomb it, play a little draw, you can miss right, you're fine. We'll use uh, orange ball for the driver. Big dog, let's go. Didn't get there, but uh, not bad, not bad. There's always a risk with the driver, always. Because you gotta anticipate what the golf course architect, Gil Hans, uh, Jeff Schockeford here at Rustic, you gotta anticipate what they might have had in mind for you. So I missed it, but uh, we'll be all right. Second choice, second choice, and this is what most people do, if they're not going for it, they pull out their three wood, and we'll do that with this color ball. You might not realize it, but this is your worst option. People don't really even think about that. I'll show you your best option if you're not going for it. It is an iron, but it's not just any iron. Most people will pull out their longest iron. Again, mistake. Hole is 336. I want to pick a number for my second shot. So I'm picking 130, so I need 206. I, so you gotta think about that. What do you want for your second shot? 130 is what I want. So I'm gonna go five iron off the tee box. And we got a pink ball here. Cool thing about this is not only is it a driving range shot, but I've got a pretty wide range to hit. You're not gonna miss the fairway with a five iron most of the time. And uh, let's go see what's up here and what, uh, what really is the best course of action in a situation like this. All right, so good news. My first one, I have 131 to the flag. So I, perfect, perfect. I'm gonna hit a nice gap wedge right in there. Kind of set myself up for the second shot. And uh, let's see, let's do it. Great, let's go to the next one. I'm like on the lawnmower hole. <laughs> okay, the second one, my three wood, I have 65 yards left. I'm gonna hit the 60 degree wedge, but I have like, it's a tricky shot. I'm actually way too close to the green for comfort sake. I can't put any spin on the ball, just in the rough. So, man, you better be solid with uh, your wedge game if you're gonna hit three wood off the tee. You know, it's not a bad play, but I, again, you've gotta be confident with your 60 or your, you know, your wedge game. Uh, let's go see what happened to that drive. Okay, so my drive is right here. I've got about 50 yards to the green. I missed it pretty far right, so I lost a bit of distance. But this is what the course, uh, golf course architects wanted to happen. Got a tough ridge, upslope, it's a hard shot. So if you go for it, be prepared, if you miss, to pay the price. You gotta pay the piper. You do the crime, you do the time. So you better have this shot dialed in. I'm gonna use my 54 degree, knock it down and see if I can run it up there. Let's do it. I had to move my ball real fast, and lawnmower man was gonna 
demolish it. So hopefully it's in the same spot. Anyway, uh, 54 degree wedge, let's do it. I totally almost made that. You get the idea. I mean, you better have this shot in your bag. Otherwise, uh, forget it. You're out of town. The, um, the purpose of this video was to uh, encourage you to play smart and lay up off the tee. Things just never work out that way. So, we got driver closest, three wood second closest, layup is the farthest. So there you go. Hopefully this is helpful just in terms of how to approach these short par fours because one, you gotta think about the architect, what do they have in mind? Two, you gotta think about where's your game at? Where's the trouble at? Then you gotta think about what am I good at? And then approach it that way. And you might have to do a little math on the tee box just so you can plan out your second shot. Take the time, just a couple seconds, and you can uh, you know, maximize your opportunity, minimize your mistakes. That's the key to lower scores. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, share the video. Love you guys. See you in the next video.